everyone's really supportive, everyone's in it together. I'm finding it very rewarding. We're never going to make as big of a, an impact on patients ever in our entire lives as we are now. I'm Peter Chan. I'm an intensive care specialist. I've been working at Eastern Health for the last five years, uh, which comprises the three ICUs across Box Hill, Maroondah, and Angles Hospitals. My name's Catherine. I'm a registered nurse. Um, I have come from 8.2 at Box Hill Hospital, which is a surgical ward. I've come to at first do an eight week sort of secondment to ICU just to help out. I feel safer when I'm in the COVID ICU uh, than I do anywhere else in Melbourne at the moment, if I'm being honest. And the reason for that is because all the patients and all the staff members in the ICU are, are incredibly protected. And that's protected through a number of different ways. We have environmental protection with negative pressure ventilation in the entire ICU, which prevents aerosols from dispersing into the air. All the rooms are pretty sealed. And so anything that happens within one room generally gets contained within one room. We've got the full PPE and then we've got the spotters there as well, which is really helpful just to make sure that, you know, you've done everything properly, your gown's fully covered at the back. Every shift we're doing the saliva COVID swaps. And then at the end of basically your last day at work for the week, you do the COVID swab as well. So, you know, there's quite good protection, um, you know, with the PPE plus the surveillance program as well. I personally find it quite rewarding to even be involved with these COVID patients. They're extremely vulnerable. And I think, you know, to be able to say that you're there right at the forefront, actually being involved with what's happening with them, to see COVID um, and the way that that differs in the treatment, definitely new new information and even just you know I, I guess the progression of the virus as well seeing that firsthand um you know seeing someone who's not intubated for a week or so but then ends up intubated in icu and um yeah the progression of it is very very interesting apart from the fact that everyone is everyone hates their ppe which i think is just understandable the the general vibe is pretty good we all i think are under the understanding and know within ourselves that we're never going to make as big of a, an impact on patients ever in our entire lives ever again as we are now. And so, you know, we, we gripe and we complain about these little things like PPE, but the reality is I think we all go home at the end of the day and feel like we've made a big difference. That's why we do it. Like that's why we signed up for this is to do something special like this and, and, and help others. We wouldn't get into healthcare if we weren't interested in helping others. I was a little bit nervous going into ICU, um, not really knowing what to expect, um, how it was going to be received, having non-ICU staff in the actual unit. Um, but everyone has been really welcoming, very, very supportive. Um, you know, you don't ever feel intimidated or afraid to ask questions. Um, everyone's really happy to help. And actually there's a genuine sense of, you know, everyone is actually in it together. 